Welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Austris and today I'm going to be talking about what does it take to learn how to play an instrument. Before I begin, I want to tell you a bit of a background story uh, of myself. I am a professional horn player. I graduated my master studies around three years ago. Since then, I've been freelancing and trying to figure out what can I contribute as a professional musician in music education. I have been playing horn since I was eight, uh, so more than 20 years now. And I have to say, it has been a very long journey. Of course, most of you who start to play an instrument are not going to decide to do this professionally and today's video is not about that. But I would want to give you a glimpse of how it is to learn an instrument from nothing and what does it take to reach a professional level. In a nutshell, I can say that learning to play an instrument is very hard. It requires a lot of dedication, a lot of discipline and a lot of work. You have to put in many hours to repeat the same movement and same muscle coordination. You have to train your motor skills to a point when these movements are so automatic that you do it completely unconsciously. When I started to play horn as a child, I had absolutely no expectations about it. I didn't even know how most of the instruments sounded and how they were to play. I also didn't know how all of this works. And at that age, I think it's really good that you have a good teacher who does not necessarily explain precisely how every technical thing works, but he or she guides you in the right direction and shows you the right exercises to grow faster. Me, when I was a child, I was quite lucky to have a good teacher. He was one of the horn players of the National Symphony Orchestra and he explained to me really well with kind of a feeling you have to play the horn. I know that nowadays children are quite busy and their parents want them to try out as many things as is humanly possible. <laughs> and music is just one of them and they don't have so much time to practice per day. Mostly it is 15 minutes, half an hour, maybe a bit more than that. But in my experience, I don't see many cases where someone practices more than that. In my family, it was a bit different. It was also some time ago, so probably also the mentality changes over time. My mom was the one who pushed me to work longer and harder every day. And largely because of her, I've reached where I am now. If I remember correctly, I practiced at least one hour per day on average and if I was preparing for a competition I practiced at least two or three hours a day. Of course not everybody has to practice that much and if you're also very talented you can learn the same things faster but you still have to put in some work and if you want to do this as a hobby and you don't see really a perspective in becoming a professional musician this is also not necessary but if you do want to become a professional, it is recommended that you start practicing a lot already when you are young. I think this is also a good moment to emphasize that not only quantity is good, but also quality. So you have to practice, first of all, smart. You should have at least a basic understanding of practicing schedules, which I will uh, cover in detail in later videos, and have an understanding what is the purpose for each type of exercise? So if you combine different types of exercises in the right order and you take enough breaks in between, it will help you grow faster. As a child, of course, I did not have really good understanding of all, all these things. So it is very important that your teacher shows you the basics, how you have to practice at home, and most importantly shows you the feeling what you have to have when you play the instrument. For more advanced players who already have some experience and have played their instrument for some years, I think the most important thing to learn is how to be your own teacher. Now you already have a firm grasp of 
what exercises to use for which kind of a problem, and you know with what kind of a feeling you should play the instrument. Now you need to teach yourself how to solve the problems on your own. To learn how to be your own teacher is the hardest thing there is in learning an instrument. You have to have a lot of knowledge of all the aspects of playing in order to first to identify that there is a problem, which is already 50% of the whole thing. Then you have to know how to fix the problem and then you have to actually fix it, which is most of the time easier said than done. And there is one saying which I still remember after quite a lot of years, which was said by my swimming coach who I had during my bachelor study. The first 10 years are the hardest. In conclusion, I have to say that learning an instrument depends very much on you, depends very much on your personality and your motivation. The teacher is there only to guide you and give you tips in what you should do better and in which direction you should go to improve. But the actual work is done by you at home. So at the end, you yourself determine how hard it's going to be for you to learn an instrument. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to be the first to know when a new video is released.